Welcome to the Great Smoky Mountains. This national park is one of the largest protected areas in the eastern United States and provides fantastic fishing. The park is incredibly biodiverse with over 50 species of fish found in its waters. Many small streams flowing through the Appalachian region provide an extensive habitat for both common and endangered fish. The majority of fish in these creeks are small and easily caught with light tackle. The riffles in a stream can be an excellent place to fish. The fish in these riffles are made up of both specialized and opportunistic feeders. Dutters and suckers forage the stream bed while the more agile and streamlined fish work the water column and surface. The fast current is home to a variety of fish not found elsewhere in the stream. The species richness is aided by the water surface, which is generally reflective and uneven, reducing visibility from predators. The body shape and mouth of a fish usually indicate their feeding behavior. Fish with downturned mouths fill their diet with food from the stream bed, while those with upturned mouths prey upon fallen insects at the water surface. Those fish between these niches have terminal mouths for opportunistic feeding throughout the water column. Here's a warpaint shiner caught here in eastern Tennessee from the Abrams Creek. These are a beautiful fish, great coloration, some red on the uh, dorsal fin there, and a stripe as if he's going to war on the side there, so they're getting their name from. Uh, very fun fish to catch. You can catch these on micro tackle, and fairly common. There's a pretty big mouth on them. The juveniles are not quite as colorful, but uh, once they're about this size, they have great coloration. If you'd like to know more about the Warpaint Shiner or anything else in this video, please check the description below the fold or leave a comment. I have more videos on the way from this region in Tennessee, so if you'd like to see more, please subscribe. Thanks for watching, guys.